What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new messages app for iOS 8. Now if you guys had watched my previous video on the top 20 features of iOS 8, then some of these features are going to be familiar. But I wanted to go ahead and make a separate video of this, as well as the interactive notifications, just because these are such substantial features added to iOS 8, that I wanted to make a separate video and kind of dive deeper into these features. So let's go ahead and jump into the messages app. And you can see right here that I'm actually having a conversation with myself. Now right down here, right above the keyboard, we have these three boxes. And these boxes are for quick type. So basically if you start typing something, let's say we're gonna say, hey, what are you doing? So we're gonna start typing, hey, what are you doing? So it's as easy as that. All I had to type out was hey space W and that's basically it. It suggested the rest of that and it was that simple to just type that all out. So we're just going to go ahead and send this off. And you're also going to notice two other buttons right here. We have this mic as well as the camera button. So the camera button has always been there. It's just a different color at this point, but it does have some new functionality. So if we tap and hold on this, we don't have to hold on it, but if we tap and hold and then let go, once the camera actually opens up, you can see we have two other options. We have a video record and we have a camera. So this is going to actually just take a picture. So if we tapped on the picture, it's going to automatically take that picture and then send it to whoever I'm having a conversation with. Same goes for the video. So if we wanted to take a video, once we stop taking a video, it's going to automatically save that video and then you can just tap up and that's going to send the video just like that. So it's actually pretty cool. Also, if you were maybe in the car or for whatever reason you don't want to type, it's very simple. You can just make an audio file on the fly just by tapping and holding and if you swipe up, then that's going to send it. If you swipe to the left, then that's going to cancel it and delete it. But you can see right here that it's actually recording my audio as I'm speaking. So we're just going to swipe up and we're going to send that and we can actually just tap on this and it's going to start playing back just like that. So a whole lot of nice features right there when you open up the messages app. Now some other cool things that you have with the iOS 8 messages is details. So if you tap on details you're going to see right here that we have a few options that we didn't necessarily have in iOS 7. First of those options is going to be location. So you can actually send the location of where you are directly to the person. So that's really easy for people to just send their location and be able to find them maybe on a Saturday night you're at a bar and somebody doesn't know where that bar is or you're at a friend's house and they don't know where that friend's house is. It's really simple to just send your location directly to them just by one tap of the button. Once you tap on that, it automatically sends. You can also share your location and sharing your location is going to give you the ability to put a timer on that. So you can share for an hour, share until the end of the day, or you can share indefinitely. So you can basically cancel this whenever you want to. So that's going to give them the ability to see where you are wherever you are for however long you set that to. Now if you don't want to get disturbed by somebody that's possibly annoying you then you can easily just tap on do not disturb and then you're not going to get any type of notifications from this person on your device. So that's actually really nice. Swiping down here we actually have all of the attachments that I've sent through this conversation or received in this conversation. So it's going to give you all those right down here and you're able to scroll through those and listen to those or play those just like that. So let's tap done and we're gonna go back up here. And another thing I wanna show you is if you're in a group conversation. So here I have two other people in this group. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna to go to details. And you can see right up here at the top that we can actually enter a subject. What this is going to allow you to do is rename the entire conversation. So you can just type out sisters since this is my sisters. We'll just tap that right there and you can see as we go back now it's labeled as my sisters. I'm not sure about what that dates about but let's go back into our details. Now right down here you can actually add a contact on the fly. So you can just tap right here and it's going to allow you to add a contact just like that. Let's tap cancel and we're going to scroll down here. You can also obviously say send your location as well as share the location. You can also turn on do not disturb. But in a group message, you also have the ability to leave a conversation right down there. So that's also really nice. Now let's talk about interactive notifications. 
So to begin with, if we're talking about messages, if we get a banner notification right here, you're going to see that we just get a banner. If we pull down, it's going to allow us to quickly reply to the sender. So it's very simple. We can just tap yes, tap send, automatically sends off just like that. So if we get another banner notification, you can easily swipe down, send your message just by tapping and holding like this, let go, tap send, and then it sends off your audio message. Very simple. Of course, you don't have to necessarily reply every time. If you get a banner notification, you can always just swipe that up just like that. Now unfortunately I don't have a Facebook account, but this is going to be available for Facebook as well as other third party applications and it's not necessarily just quick reply, it's going to give you more interaction like on Facebook it's going to allow you to comment on a post that you're tagged in, even hit that like button on a Facebook post as well. So this is going to be a very powerful feature in iOS 8 and I really can't wait to see what's in store for interactive notifications. So let me know what you guys think about these features in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, peace.